What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today we're going over the newest collection from ILNP which is called Wildflowers. This is actually their second spring 2024 collection. I already reviewed their first one which was really soft pastel magnetic shades and this collection is a huge departure from that. We've got six brand new shades and they're all these really rich jeweled tones. We have some flaky shimmers, we have a hollow jelly, and then we have a couple couple of jellies that have iridescent shimmer and hollow sparkle. So there's a lot going on here. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of ILNP before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So like I said, we've got six brand new polishes and they're really rich shades. And what I think is really exciting about this release is that we actually got a couple of new polishes in the same formula as Fairy Dust and Pixie Party, which are a couple of shades that they released last year that I loved. I think a lot of you loved those as well. So let me just dive into the swatches, then we can get into my thoughts on them, pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent knee stains. Today, it's the Orly Bond base coat. I'll start off with the shades that have that returning formula that I absolutely love. This first one is called Flower Child and this one is a pink jelly base that has this super intense blue shimmer as well as a hollow shimmer that is super packed in there so you definitely see a lot on the nail and I immediately love this polish. I thought it looked so beautiful in one coat just as kind of like a sheer wash of color but I also thought it looked really really gorgeous in two where it had more color on the nail, but you could still see a little bit of sheerness, a little bit of that visible nail line coming through. But I did end up applying a third coat just to see what it looked like as a more full coverage polish. And it looked absolutely stunning that way as well. So I love shades like this where you can kind of decide how intense you want them to be. Of course, in three coats, that's when I see like the most hollow, the most of that blue shimmer. And I do think it actually looks more intensely blue in real life than it looks on camera, but just a stunning shade, stunning formula. And then we have the shade Bluebell, which is a very similar type of polish. This time we have this kind of periwinkle blue jelly base. And then within that, we've got this iridescent shimmer that shifts between a copper and a yellowish gold. And then we also have that intense hollow sparkle running throughout. And I did find the formula on this one to be a little bit different. I didn't find it to be as even as flower child in less coats, but I still think it looks super stunning as a three coater with that full kind of coverage or as full of coverage as you can get with a sheer where you still see a little bit of that visible nail line, but the color is really intense on the nail. And when the light hits it, that iridescent shimmer and hollow sparkle just looks so intense on the nail. Next up, we have a little bit different of a formula. This polish is called Songbird. And this one is this really intense blue jelly base that has a subtle silver hollow sparkle running throughout and you can see it's just kind of scattered throughout the nail and this was a shade that I wasn't expecting for a spring collection because I do think it's a little bit deep of a color but I actually love this shade and I feel like I could make this work for multiple seasons it definitely feels like it would be a great summer nights kind of manicure with that intense blue and the sparkles that almost look like stars but I could also see it being a really beautiful wintery kind of shade, especially if you did like little snowflake nail art over it. So I do think it's really gorgeous. I ended up needing three coats for full coverage, but it is a pretty thin polish, so it doesn't feel like three coats around my nail. And then the last three polishes in this collection are this type of flaky finish. So we've got a jelly base, and then we've got a matching color flaky within it. And this first one, Willow, is this gorgeous, very yellow toned green. It actually kind of looks like a chartreuse as I'm applying it but once I got it to full coverage I feel like it was more of a lime green kind of color because it lost a little bit of that yellowiness as I was making it more opaque and again it did have a little bit of sheerness and I think if you wanted that chartreuse color you could do two coats but I ended up doing three for what I think is the perfect coverage for this type of manicure you can still very subtly see that nail line but it's also very intensely saturated of a color and I do think there's 
there's something pretty springy about having a slight sheerness to an otherwise very vibrant saturated polish. Then we have the shade Melody, which is this really vibrant orange jelly base that again has these matching little flakies running throughout. And you can see on the first coat, it was very sheer, very jelly-like, but pretty quickly it started getting very opaque. I actually think I got really intense coverage in two coats and I probably would wear this as a two coater, but just because I wanted to see how intense that color got, I ended up applying a third coat and I think that actually gave me true coverage. So I didn't see my visible nail line at all. It was fully opaque on the nail, but I like that as well because if I wanted a little bit more of a sheer springy look, I could do two coats. And if I wanted a more intense, vibrant summery look, I could do three. And last but not least, we have the shade Petals. And this one is a pink jelly that has the matching pink flakies running throughout. And again, kind of the same situation with the formula here. So in the first coat, it looked a little bit sheer, but once I applied that second coat, I actually got really nice coverage. And this one ended up being the most opaque in the collection because I actually found that it gave me pretty good coverage over that visible nail line in just two coats. But again, I did want to do a third coat just to see. And I think it actually ended up looking pretty similar. So this one I do think was a two coater on me, but of course, if you have longer nails, you probably do need a third anyway. But like I said, and I'll talk about it a little bit more later, I do feel like ILNP three coaters don't necessarily feel like you're wearing three coats because they are thinner and more buildable. So it's not a nuisance like it can be for some other brands just because they're so thin and easy to work with that it doesn't really feel like you have a thick manicure on. So here are all the polishes together. And I have to say, normally I don't love the ILNP collections that have different finishes because sometimes I do find them to be a little bit more disjointed where the color story together doesn't necessarily match, but I actually did end up really liking this. I do think that there's two distinct feelings here. We've got these sheer iridescent hollow polishes in Bluebell and Flower Child, and then we have these more intense vibrant jellies with the other four. And I do think that they don't necessarily work together if you wanted to do a Skittle manicure, but I still like the collection as a whole because I do think that it kind of gives all of the vibes that I like for springtime. So we have the more sheer, softer kind of colors, but then we also have these vibrant shades and they happen to be in a more jelly-like formula. So I can make them more sheer if I want that springy sheerness while still getting a very bold, saturated color. So I actually do like that about this collection. I think it's pretty fun. And I do think that without Bluebell, this would make a very pretty Skittle with Flower Child first going into Petals, Melody, Willow, and then Songbird. So I think that would be a cute idea. So those are the polishes and I honestly love these. I love these super rich, vibrant colors for spring. I also think that it's just a great transition into summer, but I really just love thinking of spring as this very vibrant, lush, flowery kind of time rather than that dusty, soft, kind of time of year. So I really appreciate them doing both versions for spring collections. They already had their soft dusty shades, but now they're doing like the rich vibrant hues that I love. So it's really nice. They kind of just made something for everyone here. I did find that a lot of these ended up taking three coats for full coverage for me. This is something I've mentioned in previous ILNP videos, but their formulas are very thin and buildable. So I don't mind wearing them in three coats. However, I have noticed that over the last couple of years, their polishes have been a little bit more opaque on me. So I was kind of surprised to see them go back to this type of formula that's a little bit less opaque. Like I said, I don't mind it. I think that their polishes are very layered. So the more coats that you do, the more depth you get and the more sparkle or flaky or whatever's in it. So I feel like building it up honestly just ends up making the polish more beautiful anyway. So I have no problem with that. Now let's get into pricing and availability. All of these polishes are actually coming out this Friday, April 20th. I do like to review these a little bit early because they do have a discount during their pre-order. So all of the polishes come in 12 milliliter bottles. They have a medium wide flat brush with a straight tip and they retail for $10 USD each. But if you get them during the pre-order, they retail for $9 USD each. So I always like to recommend grabbing the polishes as soon as they come out because that's when you're going to get that great discount. But yeah, like I said, overall, I really enjoyed this collection. I love the colors. I feel like it's just going to be a perfect transition from springtime into summer. And I would love to hear your thoughts. So let me know what do you think of this collection?
collection. Which collection of the two spring ones do you prefer? Did you prefer those dusty magnetic pastel shades or do you prefer these richer jelly kind of shades? Leave it in the comments, we can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button, it really helps me out, it lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question is another would you rather. So the question is, would you rather have super weird dreams forever or never dream again? I thought this was a kind of funny one to answer because I do have super weird dreams. I think it's a combination of the medication that I take because a lot of medications actually cause vivid dreams. And also when I was younger, I started training myself to have lucid dreams, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically when you can train yourself to be aware that you're dreaming so that you kind of have like full control over your dreams, which is a cool concept in theory. But I did notice that during the period of time where I was trying to lucid dream, I was really exhausted when I woke up. So I, I don't think it, you get as good of a sleep when you're lucid dreaming. But anyway, all of that to say in this would you rather, I'm already in one situation, which is that I have super weird dreams. And honestly, I love them. I've talked about it before, but I do sometimes have really scary dreams or really upsetting dreams. And and I try not to let that affect me outside of the dream because in my mind, it's kind of like watching a TV show or a movie. Sometimes I like unsettling TV shows and movies. So it's always kind of interesting even when they're bad. It's like, I don't know, like like watching TV while I'm sleeping. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of funny because Ryan almost never remembers his dreams. So it's basically like not dreaming at all. So yeah, I would always choose having weird dreams. I think it's kind of fun. And a lot of times I feel like in a strange way, it kind of helps me realize what I'm subconsciously thinking or worrying about. So I, I do think it's fun. And I also think it brings up fun discussions. I always like to tell Ryan about my weird dreams. But yeah, I'm curious to hear from you. Would you rather have super weird dreams all the time or would you rather never dream again? And also, do you already have kind of weird dreams? Let me know in the comments, we can chat about it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.